Hello friends, today in this method we are going to find what is Newton backward interpolation method. Okay, and first question which comes to your mind while reading Newton backward interpolation method is where we use this interpolation method and why. Okay, so there are two questions where will we use this method and why. For the first question, where will we use? There are basically four types of interpolation method. First is uh, Newton's forward, second is Newton's backward, third is Lagrangian, and fourth is Newton divide and difference. Okay, so from the four, where you will select this Newton backward interpolation formula. Okay, so you will use that formula when you are getting an even interval of the numbers like 5 minus 0 is 5. 10 minus 5 is 5, 15 minus 10 is 5, 20 minus 15 is 5. So the even interval is 5. So you will use this formula, Newton's backward or forward interpolation formula, where you will get an even intervals. Okay? And for the second question, why we will use this Newton backward interpolation? Why not Newton's forward interpolation? So as we all know, over here we have to find f of x which is equal to 17, okay? And in Newton's forward interpolation method, I have said that we have to check the center value, okay? If the value which I want to find is less than the center value, then I have to go for Newton's forward interpolation method. And the value over here written is 17 which is just greater than the center value. So I will go for Newton's backward interpolation method. Okay, so these two questions are clear. Okay, where will we use and why will we use that formula? Okay, now moving to the Newton's backward interpolation formula. This is x, this is fx. These tables are being provided to you and you have to compute everything using these two tables. Okay, so these two tables, this table, from this table you have to make this table. So moving to step one, this table will be provided in the question paper to you and you have to make this table from this table okay so how will we be going to compute this table this is same this, this is basically same as newton's forward interpolation tables formula but i am just repeating it once again i have written x in the sequence i have written fx in the sequence okay now yn what is yn yn is if i subtract 1.0 from 1.6 I'll get 0.6 this is nebula yn now for this 2.2 if I subtract 1.6 from 3.8 I will get 2.2 okay and if I subtract 8 3.8 from 8.2 I'll get 4.4 and if I subtract 8.2 from 15.4 I'll get 7.2 similarly for the same nebula square yn if I subtract 0 0.6 from 2.2, we know that this will come 1.6, okay? And if I subtract 2.2 from 4.4, I'll definitely get 2.2. So, this is basically same as Newton's forward interpolation method. And we will continue this method till we get a single value over here or we get a zero over here, okay? So, this portion is quite clear to you. Now moving to the formula part, okay? So this one is the formula part. Again, for the derivation of the formula part, you can refer to your book. And for easy calculation of the sums, you should memorize this formula, okay? So how we will memorize this formula, okay? This is quite similar to Newton's forward interpolation formula. In Newton's forward interpolation, what we used to do, we used to just subtract p into p minus 1. In this position of addition, in Newton's forward, we use subtraction. Same over here subtraction. Same over here subtraction. Same if we just reverse the subtraction to positive, it will be my Newton's backward interpolation formula. Okay? So, this is p into nebula y n plus p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial nebula square y n plus p into p plus 1, p plus 2 by 3 factorial, n plus square, uh, cube y n. And to memorize this formula, how will I memorize this? As you can see, there are two terms in the numerator part. So, I am dividing my denominator part by 2 factorial. Okay? And my nebula is also 
square. Now there are three terms in the numerator part. Then I will divide it by three factorial, and my nebula will be cube. Okay. So this is the way to memorize this formula. Okay. And what is p over here? P is basically x minus x n by h. Similar to that of Newton's forward interpolation formula. In Newton's forward interpolation formula, it was x not over there, but over here we will take x n. Okay. What is x? X is the value which we want to find, which is provided in the sum, which is seventeen. What is x n? X n is just the previous value from the value which we want to find, seventeen. From the table, what is just the previous value? Of seventeen, which is fifteen. So my x n will be fifteen, and my x will be seventeen. Now I'll calculate my h. What is h? H is the interval between the x values, and this interval should be even. So five minus zero is five. Twenty minus fifteen is five. Again, ten minus five is five. So intervals are even. So h is even. Means my h is even, so I am using this backward interpolation or forward interpolation formula, and my h is five. Now x is seventeen uh, minus fifteen by five, which is two by five, which is again zero point four. My p value is zero point four. Okay. Now I am just putting my p value in the formula. Okay. But from this multiple values or from this Uh, multiple values. What value should I take to compute my formula? Okay, there is given nebula y n, nebula square y n, but there are uh, basically three or four nebula or nebula square y n values. Okay, so which which value should I take? Okay, so it is basically clear. Please clear it that the value of x n will tell you which value you have to take. Okay. What is the value of x n over here? Fifteen. Where is my fifteen? Fifteen is here. Where is my fifteen? Fifteen is here. I will take this value and the diagonal values of this. So this portion is quite clear. Again, I am re repeating it. Which value I have to take for nebula n, nebula square y n, nebula cube y n, and nebula to the power four y n, y n, and so on and so forth. I will take the value of x n. And the diagonal of that value. If I am using Newton's backward, I will take my diagonal to top. Okay. So what is my x n? X n is fifteen. I have came to fifteen. What is the parallel value of fifteen for f x? Eight point two. Now I will just take the diagonal of that value. So for my f x, I will take eight point two. For my p into nebula y n, I will take four point four. For P into P plus one means zero point four into zero point four plus one zero point four into zero point four plus one by two factorial into nebula square y n which is two point two. Again for nebula cube y n I will take zero point six and nebula to the power four is not there. So I will not take this one. Okay. I have written there to show you that we will not consider this thing because the graph is going like this. You will not take zero as this. Okay, so this is quite clear. This is my value. Now I have just taken my value and calculated the part. If you calculate this part in your calculator, you will get ten point seven one zero four, which is the required answer for this Newton's backward interpolation formula. Okay, but if you think if it might come inside you that. Uh, Is my answer is correct, or uh, will I get, or do I get the full marks? So, for that reason, I'm just clearing you out that what is the value of 15 and 20, which is just left and right of the number which I have to find. Okay, so take the numbers, take the number which I have to find, and put it inside that box. Okay, and take the just left and the right number. Beside that number, which is fifteen and twenty, okay, add this two number, okay. If I add this two number and divide it by two, I will get a near about close value to this. So, from that prediction, I can predict that my value is 
correct okay so if you have understood this you should try for x is equals to 21 where you will take x naught is equals to 20 you should try this one to clarify your answer okay so this is newton's backward interpolation formula and in the next classes we are going to learn the lagrange's interpolation method and uh, newton's divide and difference interpolation method thank you thank you friends for liking our videos do subscribe it and for any queries just comment down below